Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you exactly how to get your Figma Access Token, a powerful secure key that lets you connect other tools and automate your workflow with Figma's API. If you've ever needed to integrate Figma into another app, or just want a taste of what's possible with the Figma API, getting an Access Token is absolutely the first step. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have your own access token ready to use, and you'll understand why each part of the process matters, so you can do it confidently and safely. Let's dive in and get started. First up, head to Figma, come and log into your account. Make sure you're using the account where you want the access token to live, since tokens are user-specific. If you've never poked around Figma's user settings before, don't worry, I'll walk you through every click. Once you're logged in, look up at the top right corner of the window. You'll see your account avatar or initials. Go ahead and click on that, that's your account menu. This is your central hub for anything related to your user profile and it's where you'll find all the settings and preferences you might want to adjust, not just for tokens, but for notifications, integrations, and more. Clicking here is the gateway to almost everything personalized in Figma. Next, from the drop-down head straight over to settings. Just give that a click. The settings panel is where Figma lets you tailor your experience, whether it's about your theme, notifications, or in our case, something a bit more under the hood. Your security details. Now in your settings, take a look for the security tab. Sometimes you might need to scroll down a little depending on your screen size, but it's all right there in the sidebar or as a section. Go ahead and select security. This is the area dedicated to keeping your Figma data safe. It's where you adjust your password, set up two-factor authentication, and importantly, manage and generate API tokens. Here where all the action happens, look for the option to create a new token, click on that. This is Figma's way of making sure that you intentionally and safely generate tokens since they act like secret passwords that let apps talk to your Figma account. It's a good practice to create separate tokens for different uses so you can easily revoke them if you ever need to. You'll be prompted to give your token a name. Really, you can write anything you like here. Personal API, Zapier Bot, June 2024 Read Token. Something descriptive is always helpful so you remember what it's for later. It may seem like a small detail, but trust me, when you look back at your tokens a few months from now, a clear name will save a lot of confusion. Next, choose the access level for your token. For most use cases, especially if you're just starting out, you'll want to select read-only access. This means your token can pull data from your Figma files, like reading design specs or grabbing comments, but it can't make any changes. This is an extra safety measure, and unless you specifically need to write data, keeping it read-only is best. Now just click Generate Token. Figma will generate your access token instantly, and here's an important note. The token will only be shown to you once, so make sure you copy it somewhere safe, maybe paste it in a secure notes app or a password manager. Also, remember, Figma tokens are only valid for a month. After that, you'll need to come back and repeat these steps to create a fresh one. Don't worry if you forget, most integrations will prompt you when your token expires. And there you have it. You've just created your own Figma access token. Whether you're connecting to a plugin, automating reports, or hooking Figma into Slack, you're now set up for all sorts of possibilities. If this helped you out, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or run into issues. I'm always happy to help. And if you want more tutorials on anything design or tech related, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.